Hi, this is John, and this is a how to change out a 100 amp breaker on a old service. First of all, call Nevada Power or whatever power company you got and have them unconnect the lock ring. And then you take your meter out. Okay, at that point, the system from this point on is dead, but you want to test it anyway. For a better view, listen carefully. Hear that click? That's power. No power. These wires come off of here, and go onto this breaker. No power. Okay, which means we can now safely disconnect this breaker. We're replacing it with the same brand and model and amperage breaker. Very important to use the same of everything. We put the new breaker in and you want to make sure those wires are well in to your stab connections. Make sure the stabs are lined up and then give it a good knock. The main power terminal for the house, we're going to lock this down extra tight. Okay. With that done, we have the breaker replaced. It's turned off. We take the meter socket. Here are the stabs. Line and load. We line these up very carefully. And give that a good whack. Okay. It's important to note here that when you turn on the main breaker, the 100 amp breaker I've just installed, that you stand back, you wear safety goggles, and you brace for any kind of explosion because it can happen. So, here we go. And it looks like we're okay on that. Let's test for power. We have good power to 100% of the panel. We can now put the lock collar back on and call Nevada Power to come and lock this. And that panel is good to go. All we need to do now is put on the dead front. This is called a dead front because it means that everything in front of it is dead. And also it means everything behind it is alive. And you don't really want to get into that. 